Nine years ago, a single tweet changed everything in the space industry. Jeff Bezos took to social media with four words that would come back to haunt him. Welcome to the club. His attempt to diminish SpaceX's groundbreaking Falcon 9 landing not only backfired, it became a symbol of Blue Origin's struggle to keep pace with its rival. Today, Bezos stands at a defining moment. Blue Origin's largest rocket ever, New Glenn, sits ready on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral. After years of delays and setbacks, this launch isn't just another test. It's the moment that could either resurrect Blue Origin's reputation or confirm the critics' doubts. The stakes couldn't be higher. While SpaceX approaches its 400th successful launch and dominates 90% of the orbital market, Blue Origin is still working to prove it can reach orbit at all. The contrast is stark. SpaceX's $150 billion valuation towers over Blue Origin's $15 billion, and Starship's revolutionary design pushes the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. But the story isn't over. The recent vertical rollout of New Glenn and its successful static fire test in December 2024 signal that Blue Origin might finally be ready to step into the orbital arena. As launch preparations continue, one question remains. Can Blue Origin finally deliver on its promises, or will this be another chapter in a story of missed opportunities? This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest developments in the race to revolutionize space travel. Let's dive right in. The history of space exploration has always been marked by competition, but few rivalries have been as consequential as the one between SpaceX and Blue Origin. What makes this story particularly compelling isn't just the clash of titans, it's a deeply human story of pride, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of the impossible. That fateful tweet from Jeff Bezos in 2016 wasn't just a miscalculation. It was a moment that revealed the fundamental difference between two space pioneers. While Bezos celebrated landing a suborbital rocket, SpaceX had already been routinely landing orbital-class boosters for months. The space community's reaction was swift and unforgiving. Former NASA Deputy Administrator Lori Garver later recalled, It was like watching someone celebrate winning a local 5K race while another runner had already completed a marathon. SpaceX's path to dominance reads like a classic underdog story. In 2008, the company was down to its last rocket and last chance. After three consecutive Falcon 1 launch failures, Elon Musk had invested his last remaining PayPal fortune into one final attempt. Engineers worked around the clock, sleeping on factory floors, checking and rechecking every component. The success of that fourth launch didn't just save SpaceX, it revolutionized the entire industry's approach to space access. By contrast, Blue Origin's journey reflects a different philosophy entirely. In the early days, even their employees' families didn't know what they were working on. The company operated from a converted warehouse in Kent, Washington, with security rivaling military installations. Former employees have described an almost obsessive attention to detail, with Bezos personally reviewing technical documents late into the night. This methodical approach produced impressive engineering achievements, but at a pace that would ultimately prove problematic. The real drama unfolded in 2021, when Blue Origin lost the NASA Lunar Lander contract to SpaceX. Instead of accepting defeat gracefully, the company launched a aggressive legal challenge, even publishing infographics attacking SpaceX's Starship design. The move backfired spectacularly, damaging relationships with NASA and drawing criticism from across the industry. A senior NASA official, speaking anonymously, described it as the moment Blue Origin lost its way. But 2024 marked a potential turning point. During New Glenn's development, Blue Origin quietly recruited key talent from SpaceX, NASA, and other aerospace companies. The December 27th static fire test wasn't just a technical milestone. It represented the culmination of lessons learned from both companies' approaches. The test lasted a full seven minutes, demonstrating not just the BE-4 engine's raw power, but their durability for reuse. Behind the scenes, the pressure on both companies has been intense. SpaceX's Starship program has faced its own challenges. During the November 2024 test flight, controllers held their breath during a tense 30-second period when communication with the vehicle was temporarily lost. The successful engine reignition that followed wasn't just a technical achievement, 
It was a moment of redemption for the team that had worked through countless setbacks. The contrast in corporate cultures couldn't be more striking. SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California, buzzes with energy 24-7. Engineers work in open spaces next to the factory floor, with Falcon 9 rockets being assembled within view of their desks. At Blue Origin's facilities in Kent and Cape Canaveral, the atmosphere is more methodical, with rigorous processes governing every decision. Both approaches have their merits, but the results speak volumes. As 2025 begins, SpaceX's achievements are staggering. Their 61 launches in 2022 weren't just numbers. Each represented critical missions for customers who had chosen SpaceX over traditional providers. The company's $150 billion valuation reflects more than financial success. It represents the market's belief in their ability to revolutionize space travel. The upcoming seventh Starship flight showcases this revolution in action. The redesigned heat shield isn't just an upgrade, it's a response to real-world data from previous flights. Each tile is now backed by a secondary protective layer, a direct result of observations from Flight 6 where several tiles showed signs of stress during re-entry. The new avionics system includes triple redundant computers, a lesson learned from early Falcon 9 flights. But perhaps most significantly, Flight 7 will attempt something never before seen, the deployment of actual payloads from the largest spacecraft ever built. The 10 test Starlink satellites aren't just cargo, they represent the first step towards SpaceX's vision of making humanity multiplanetary. Each satellite has been specially modified to test deployment mechanisms that could one day be used to establish communication networks on Mars. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's new Glenn represents a different kind of ambition. Its massive seven meter fairing isn't just about size, it's about enabling entirely new types of missions. The rocket's BE-4 engines, with their oxygen-rich stage combustion design, represent thousands of hours of testing and refinement. Each engine contains over 25,000 individual parts, each optimized through countless iterations. The human stories behind these achievements are equally compelling. SpaceX's propulsion team worked through three consecutive holiday seasons to perfect the Raptor engine's complex fuel flow systems. At Blue Origin, engineers spent months developing new welding techniques to handle New Glenn's massive propellant tanks, sometimes running tests until dawn to perfect their processes. As we look to the future, the stakes continue to rise. SpaceX's Starship isn't just another rocket, it's humanity's first real chance at becoming multiplanetary. The enhanced fuel capacity isn't just about reaching orbit, it's about having enough reserves to land on Mars, refuel, and return. The upgraded avionics aren't just about control, they're about managing the complex sequence of events needed for interplanetary travel. New Glenn's importance extends beyond Blue Origin. The rocket's development has pushed suppliers to develop new manufacturing techniques, created new jobs across the aerospace industry, and inspired a new generation of engineers. Its success or failure will impact not just Blue Origin, but the entire space industry ecosystem. The space industry of 2025 stands at a pivotal moment. SpaceX's dominance, carrying 90% of Earth's payloads to orbit, isn't just market success. It's a revolution in how we access space. But with New Glenn, Blue Origin isn't just playing catch up. They're betting on a future where multiple heavy lift vehicles will be necessary to support humanity's expansion into space. The coming months will test both companies' visions. SpaceX's seventh Starship flight, with its ambitious payload deployment plans, could open new possibilities for space development. New Glenn's debut, whether successful or not, will demonstrate whether methodical development can still compete with rapid innovation in today's space industry. As we await these crucial events, one thing is clear. The future of space exploration will be shaped by both the rapid innovators and the methodical developers. The real winners won't just be the companies that launch first or most often, but those that help establish humanity's permanent presence beyond Earth. As SpaceX and Blue Origin continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, we're witnessing a historic moment in human achievement. The upcoming launches, SpaceX's seventh Starship test and Blue Origin's New Glenn debut, represent more than just technological milestones. They embody humanity's relentless drive to explore the final frontier.
The contrast between these companies' approaches, SpaceX's rapid innovation versus Blue Origin's methodical development, reminds us that there's no single path to the stars. Each launch, each test, each triumph and setback writes a new chapter in our journey to become a spacefaring civilization. We'll be here to bring you the latest developments as both companies work to make space more accessible. From Starship's groundbreaking payload, deployment to New Glenn's first orbital attempt, 2025 promises to be a pivotal year in space exploration. If you want to stay updated on these historic developments, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the different approaches these companies are taking? Your engagement helps us create better content and build a community of space enthusiasts. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video covering the latest breakthroughs in space technology. In the quiet days between Christmas and New Year's, while most of the world was winding down, something extraordinary was happening at Starbase. The massive Booster 15 stood gleaming under the Texas sun, undergoing its critical cryogenic tests. Hour after hour, as the liquid oxygen flowed through its tanks, the team watched, measured, and evaluated. This wasn't just another test. It was a glimpse into what 2025 holds for humanity's journey to the stars. But that's not even the biggest news. Just hours ago, SpaceX dropped a bombshell that sent ripples through the space community. Flight 7 of Starship is scheduled for January 10th, and it's packed with groundbreaking firsts that nobody saw coming. The stakes have never been higher. The first ever Block 2 Starship carrying actual Starlink payload simulators. Not just carrying them, but planning to deploy them. The first reflight of a Raptor engine pulled from the history-making Booster 12 catch. And perhaps most intriguingly, new metallic tiles with active cooling systems that could revolutionize how we think about atmospheric re-entry. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we're tracking these developments around the clock. The speed of innovation at SpaceX hasn't just continued through the new year, it's accelerating. What we're about to witness isn't just another test flight, it's a preview of how space travel will transform in 2025. Let's dive right in. At Starbase, every moment tells a story of human ingenuity pushing boundaries. As Booster 15 underwent its lengthy cryogenic tests this Saturday, the Texas sun painted long shadows across its metallic surface. The liquid oxygen tank test stretched from midday into the darkness, a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. Each test, each modification, brings us one step closer to making life multiplanetary. Against the backdrop of cars and people moving about the facility, Booster 15's true scale becomes apparent. Standing taller than a 23-story building, these rockets aren't just machines, they're monuments to human ambition. As Booster 15 made its way back to the ring yard, the ground trembled beneath its massive transport stand. Every movement, every adjustment, calculated with precision, but while Booster 15 commanded attention, another giant was preparing for an even more historic journey. Flight 7's Booster 14 carries within it a piece of history, a Raptor engine, serial number 314, salvaged from the caught Booster 12. This isn't just hardware being reused, it's the first chapter in a new era of spaceflight economics. Each successful reuse brings us closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. The Block 2 Starship represents the biggest leap forward yet in the program's history. SpaceX has equipped it with revolutionary features that push the boundaries of aerospace engineering. The new metallic tiles, some featuring active cooling systems, aren't just improvements. They're experiments that could reshape our understanding of atmospheric re-entry. These aren't minor tweaks. They're bold steps toward making spacecraft more resilient and reusable than ever before. Perhaps the most exciting addition is the payload bay, now holding 10 Starlink payload simulators. This isn't just added weight, it's a full demonstration of Starship's primary mission, delivering substantial mass to orbit. When these dummy satellites deploy on their suborbital trajectory into the Indian Ocean, they'll validate systems critical for future commercial missions. 
Each successful deployment brings us closer to the day when Starship will deploy real satellites, expanding global connectivity to the most remote corners of Earth. The Tower Catch system has undergone significant upgrades since Flight 6's aborted catch attempt. Engineers have swarmed over every sensor, every mechanism, determined to perfect this crucial recovery technique. The tower's robotic arms stand ready like giant hands prepared to catch a falling arrow. Success here isn't just about saving hardware. It's about proving that rapid reusability is possible even for the largest rocket ever built. But the most visible change to Booster 14 sits near its common dome.